What's up tractor lovers? Jason here for the love of tractors and I got a bit of a surprise today in the mail and um, I thought we would open it up and see what all the fuss is about. So my buddy Matt Carter sent me a little bit of a present to show you guys. And you know this camera angle is terrible, so I apologize for that. But let's just see what we got here. Any ideas? Any guesses? Anybody? Oh, it's it's a fancy Mac Don wind rower M1240 with the D1XL Draper header. Huh. Let's talk tractors, yo. Alright guys, so I'm pretty pumped about this. This is kind of the first care package a customer has ever sent me before. A customer? What did I say that for? A viewer, not a customer, viewer, has ever sent me before. And uh, so the, the deal was here, he asked if I had one of these to do a review on, and I said, I do not, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get one. And, and here's why. I'll just get right to it. 90 bucks. So that's a lot of money, but, but, but we'll get into it here and see if it's worth it. I suspect it is. So what I'm after is this Draper header. Let's just cut to the chase here. I'm a row crop guy. Soybeans, wheat. I want a Draper header. This is a 45 foot model. You can see it turns nicely. Uh, it's got the center support, so you've got the two reels. It's got the outside guides on it, just like the real thing. Really nice uh, MacDon logo over here on the side. You get the red because it is with the red. Mac Don, you know, if you had a deer, you would get green. If you had New Holland, it would be yellow, so on and so forth. So, no detail here on the back. That surprises me a little bit, especially for the $90 price tag. But, that doesn't, you know, it's okay. It's all right. Still, where else are we getting a header, a 45-foot Mac Don header? Unless somebody would custom make one or 3D print one. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. That's a hint. For some of you guys, you know what I'm talking about. Others, you don't. And uh, you will eventually. So here's, here's, here's the bee's knees. Does this fit on a, or Ertl Combine? And the answer is not really. You'd have to do some modifications. So... I've actually made an adapter plate for another MacDon header that uh, I may or may not have alluded to a few seconds ago. And I think it would work on this. You can see the, ta the tabs of this go right. They fit pretty good, right? But like if you go and lift it, of course it's going to come off because there's nothing holding that on. And this is how it goes on to the wind rower, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. We'll, we'll get into that better. Anyway, so no, it doesn't fit. And then two, if you want to, if you want to adapt this to a combine, you're gonna have to build the center section, you know, because on a wheat um, or soybean head, there's gonna be a belt that will bring your wheat or soybeans or whatever you're, you're harvesting back up into the combine, into the feeder house of the combine. So. Will this work with a combine from Ertl? No. Or Speccast or any of that. No, it will not. Not without modifications. But those modifications are very easy and I bout anybody can do it. So, okay. Enough of that. So anyway, this Draper header is very nice. It's very, very nice. Really happy with that. Very cool toy. How does this hook up to the wind rower? Well, so you can see the uh, the little rod goes into the into the cylinder like so. Had it earlier, just fine. Then 
these two things. Well, okay, so there's there's a bit of a dance there you've got to do. I swear it's easy. Anyway. Hey, I got it. <laughs> there it is. So now you've got a 45-foot header on your McDonald 1240, I'm sorry, M1240 wind rower. This thing rolls so nice. Look at that. That's great. So your rear, rear wheels steer independently. Do those pivot? Oh, look at that. They even pivot. How cool is that? Very nice. Very, very, very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Don't know why I'm sneezing. Ugh. I'm allergic to Macdon equipment. Not. Um, wow. I could spend the whole afternoon playing with this thing, I think. I just might. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and pull that header back off here. Just a little tug and you've got it. Wow, my nose is running something terrible all of a sudden. Maybe I am allergic to Macdon's. <laughs> um... We'll put this header on here. Sort of. Same thing. It's just got these two little tabs that slip on there. Okay, so I didn't get it in the cylinder. You just have to... Whatever. <laughs> Same thing. Man, that is a really nice outfit. So I was on the fence about getting it. Because it's 90 bucks. But after having it here in my hands and playing with it, yeah, it's worth every bit of that. This is a really, really nice outfit i am so impressed with this um let's take a look at you know the wheels they're they're hard but they're there's a little bit of a give to them too so they're i would they're better than an ertle wheel how about that uh the rears yeah those are nice too like i said this pivots let's look underneath here yeah you've got like a, a little casting detail but nothing special it's got spec cast it's got your your uh, stamp number on there um get handrails all around you've got doors on either side of the machine wow i'm doing a terrible job with the camera here today and i apologize for that um there is some nice cab detail you got your buddy seat and your regular seat a steering wheel and it's an actual steering wheel it's not just a disc in there it's, it's actually got spokes and then you've got your console not a whole lot of detail on that console but enough it's got it's got some texture it's got a screen on it and all of that uh flasher lights and mirrors and then your beacons as well and even this header has just a little bit of detail and i'll be honest i'm not um i'm not familiar with disc mowers at all because we are corn soybeans and wheat so this is not not a machine that i would be very familiar with at all but so i don't know exactly what that is i believe those are just flashers so those look nice if we pop this up you can see some of your you know your cutting detail or whatever that is here and oh that's that's cool that is actually uh, rubber your um your shield there your your guard or whatever you'd call that so anyway so this has gotten into about a seven or eight minute video so i apologize i don't like to to go this long although i do most of the time wow super impressed with this thing i um it's so well done got MacDon decals everywhere and there you go so hey if you are looking for a MacDon wind rower with a draper header and a disc mower this is it for you guys this is it 90 bucks uh they're still available they're still out there i heard these are going to be reasonably limited production uh, i heard 5,000, but don't take my word for it could be less than that a lot of times when a company tells you five thousand it ends up being less so um anyway yeah impressive impressive little outfit here good job speccast that's well done that's an early candidate for toy of the year this year for sure because that is uh, just a really nicely done piece so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. We've, we're, we're working towards 500 subscribers now. I'd love to get there before I get done planting corn this year. So we got about a month to do that. Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful day, guys. Happy toy hunting. Thanks for watching.